Welcome back to suicide rates keep rising and it won't slow down anytime soon because no one's trying to fix the problem. No one is actually looking at male suicide and says, what is the problem? Why are all of these young, healthy men killing themselves? Because no one cares. That's the truth. And it's a hard way to come into the conversation and just burst in and start like this. But let's be honest. No one fucking cares, bro. Um, when it comes to like men killing themselves, they're all looked at with disgust by even like the left side that say they like tolerate and love everything and, and everyone should be accepted. They look at suicide with disgust. Like men should pull themselves by the bootstraps and not kill themselves. Now, of course, women do kill themselves too. And the thing with women is they attempt to kill themselves. They're not really good at killing themselves. Like, I don't know what it was. Was it like 80% of male suicide or, or suicide is done? Or uh, suicide deaths, 80% or something is men. Because we are more violent to ourselves even when it comes to pulling a trigger. We prefer to use a gun than to use medications or try to drown ourselves or something. We're just more violent towards ourselves as we're also towards other people so it's the 11th leading cause that's in u.s like in the U usa have like much more suicide uh, statistics than other countries like if you look at europe a lot of them don't have like a good amount of suicide statistics because we're just seeing a problem in europe right now uh and scandinavia where i am like we're, we're starting to see a problem and it is a big thing like suicides here too are a big thing but in you but like in the u.s like that problem is big the 11th leading cause of death is suicide right and the crazy thing is when you look at who kills themselves the most it is the group that you be thought you like they teach you to hate the group that kills themselves the most so the cis white male the middle-aged cis white male is the it's the group that kills themselves the most. But if you go on Twitter, if you go on any like social media, if you like look at any lefty type uh, videos, they all talk about why you should hate cis white males, middle aged cis white males. They rule the world. Why do they kill themselves if they are ruling the world? Like it makes no sense. And also, the reason why it won't stop anytime soon is just because of. This is like a crazy take. It's also a crazy video to make. Uh, but it's because of things like feminism. It's because of the how the working class is being treated. Because a lot of people are workers. Like being a worker right now is close to like... It's pretty crazy. That's why I can say it's pretty crazy to believe that a man should just get up every single day early and work a hard day, even overtime, and then come home to nothing. Because that's what they portray. That's what they promote to you. You owe nothing. You can't buy a home. You can't buy a car. And if you buy a car, then if you're going to pay for gas and all the different expenses by having a car, it's going gonna, it's gonna to fuck you up. Like you're going to have to spend nearly all of your money on this car and your apartment and some food. That's it. That's all you can spend on. You don't have anyone to protect. You don't have anyone to provide for. And if you wanted to protect and provide for someone and you got the opportunity to do that, you wouldn't have enough money to protect and provide for someone. You only have enough for one person. So you're going to be just a one-man band walking through the world just being selfish, just thinking about yourself, just work, uh, food, apartment, maybe a car if you're lucky. That's it. That's what you're going to spend your time doing. Right? And to be honest, like, it's not, it's not optimal. Not at all. They believe that that's the life you should live and you should do that for years. When back in the days, we used to have people in their late teens, early 20s, they used to, they used to, like, check off having a house, check off having a car, check off having some kids, check off having a wife, a good wife, a good girl. And they went to their job and they came back home to a house full of life.
protected and provided. That was their purpose. Now people grow up around purpose. Like, you go home, and what do a guy that works every... Like, working every single day overtime from early to late, and you have nothing when you come home, what are you going to do? You're going to eat junk food. You're going you're gonna to fap. You're going to watch that series. You're going to play those video games. You're going to do all that bad stuff, bro. You're going to do all that stuff that just makes you sadder and sadder. And through years of this torture, you, you might be one of those guys that kill themselves, right? And that's why it's going to keep rising. Because things aren't going to get cheaper. It's not going to get easier to be poor. You're just going to get more and more poor. And yes, you can start businesses and be on the grind like I am and how I'm promoting in Invictus and everything, but the world around you is still going to fuck you up. It's still going to put different... still going to put like spike strips in your way and you got you can't step on the spikes, but you can't even see the spikes, invisible spike strips. You might step on the spikes and now you have a spike to your foot. It's not, you understand me? Like... The whole world is against you in a way when it comes to all this. And there's nothing you can do but becoming better physically, financially, mentally, traveling the world, taking risks, trying your 20s and 30s and 40s and however long it takes to get better. Of course, that's what you can do. It's what you should do. But the suicide rates show that a lot of men are checking out putting themselves six feet on the ground. Like, instead of, instead of, like, keep pushing forward, they're putting themselves on the ground. And a lot of this can also be contributed to feminism. Like, men are told that they're the villain. Men are told that they're monsters. That no one loves them. That no one should love them. They, they are told that they don't deserve love. So how do you tell a guy who's lonely, who feels like he has nothing, was thinking maybe I should kill myself, and then you throw on that someone tells them that, you, oh, you're a cis white male, you should just kill yourself. And then he goes through and do it, right? And also, why it won't stop, like, people aren't getting better, you know? When you talk about how money is, like, how, uh, how people are with women, how the whole dynamic through, like, Socially, we're also fucked because everyone's on their phone. And also, depression is also fucked because you can see a lot of different people, like, scroll. If you scroll your phone, you're going to see so many different people's lives, right? And you're going to be like, my life is just shit. I wake up, I go to the job, I get home and I fab, and that's my life. Like, of course your life's shit. If that's your life, of course it's shit. And then you watch on Instagram... All of these different people you grew up with that have a better life than you. And then you're, th you're thinking, yeah, well, fuck it. Why don't I just put a bullet in my head? It's not going to get better. And also when you think about all of these different things. And also you think about like things aren't getting better even. Right? Like when you grow up, you're also told that you're going to feel your emotions. And that's the reason why people kill themselves. So we've actually just we've actually just made the whole problem much worse because we've just told every single person that the cure to you killing yourself is to talk about it, right? Talk about your feelings, go to therapy. Because then you're gonna feel much better, right? But then you also see the statistic of I think the majority of people that kill themselves went to some kind of therapy or talked to someone before they did it. So it's not an emotional choice. But like if you talk about suicide rates for men, it's not an emotional choice. I just felt like it. I shot myself. It's not that. They went to therapy. They went and talked to all these people, right? And it's like, so that's not the solution. To show your feelings, cry more, uh, feel more emotions. If you feel more emotions, you're just going to feel anger and hate and disgust and greed. And, you know, you're just going to feel sad and more depressed. And then, of course, you should talk about it. Then you won't do it. They don't talk about it. Men don't talk about it. That's why they do it. Well, they talk about it. In the majority of cases, they talk to someone before they go on to do it, right? 
So what is the solution? I don't know the solution. Like we have to change a lot about society, right? This is not a video where I just show you the solution. I'm going to keep talking about it. I'm going to try to see different things we can do to find a solution, right? But this is just a video saying that they, the suicide rate keep rising and they won't fall or stop or slow down anytime soon. Like they won't, they will keep rising and more and more people will kill themselves and will not see any other solution but then doing that. Because of how work situations is, because of how relationships is, because of how the world has gone to, people will have no other choice but to say, well, what's the reason of being here? What's my purpose, right? So we need to get a hell of a lot better before we can see any, any like slowing down of suicides. But before that, it's basically a lost cause. But of course, everything can get better. Everything can get better. But if we keep die, if we keep saying that it is because you don't talk and feel and 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 express your feelings and and cry enough, they are still gonna keep killing themselves because that's not the problem. Let's talk about child custody. Let's talk about divorce rates. Let's talk about let's talk about how we shame people. Let's talk about yeah, shaming tactics. Like, let's talk about the things we learned learned in school. Let's talk about how relationships is fucked up. Let's talk about how the loneliness in these different countries is. Let's talk about food prices. Let's talk about different bills and expenses. Let's talk about real logical things. Let's not talk about emotions and feelings. Because people, or men particularly, they don't just feel something and then put a barrel to their head and then paint the fucking wall red just because they felt something for a long time. It's just different signs, different things they went through that made them feel like this isn't worth it and I'm going to leave now. It's a logical choice that men kill themselves. They, they see it as a logical choice. They don't see it as, some, oh, I'm just going to... Boom. No, they see it as a logical choice because through time they've seen that the world the world isn't for them. Right? So that's my take on it. That's my like first take on suicide. And you know, I'm not gonna sit here and say this is how we prevent it because it's a big thing. And but I'm just saying that people say, Oh, it's just a, it's just uh people trying to get used to social media and now it rolls after social media, but it's gonna it's going to stagnate. Less people are going to know. It's going to keep rising and it won't fall anytime soon. So if you like this video, you should like it. So what big people can see it. If you dislike it, you should dislike it. So less people have to see it. You should comment down below what you think of this. You should follow. Subscribe to be a part of the Victor and to follow the journey. You should share this with someone who might need this. And you should stay awake. Talk more, brother.